So, uh, we ended up in this secret little basement, you know, where all the crimes have been occurring. Plus, like, a weird monster, which I guess I can only assume is the biological weapon, right? Because that's the weird thing they created, you know, I guess, uh, Umbrella style, you know, Resident Evil style, maybe. Um, so that's the bioweapon that they made, I can only assume. And we end up over here, and then we uh, also open a door that led to a very similar situation that happened in the dead ending, right? And I don't know where we're at. Like, is this the present time, or is it is this in his memories? Still, there's a few layers here that I'm still not entirely sure about. Um, it's very similar, though, because, you know, wasn't there a time? Yeah, I think in the dead ending, she mentioned how, like, everyone died or whatever but that hasn't happened yet you know um but i guess we'll see anyway ikida what is this is he being restrained why is he wearing that strange headgear you know he's, does he have that new virtual reality uh, tech you know it's pretty expensive you know you gotta take this off right now uh, it looks like it's locked in place i can't remove it maybe i can operate the system somewhere somewhere and remove it from there i should look around there's a surgical headlight. Does that mean that this is an operating room? There's something strange about it. Why does it need to keep the light on anyway? Nobody's being operated on. But maybe was uh, somebody was in here just earlier. If so, I should get out of here. They might come back. Hmm. I was thinking about that. So I guess what happened after um, Ikeda went inside that room and saw that strange uh, code and, you know, the, the room in, ge in general was strange. I guess he was knocked out and then captured and put in here, I guess, maybe? Or I don't know how the timeline works, but... It's Higa, though, right? It appears that his hands and feet are firmly restrained and he's hooked up to a machine. He appears to be unconscious. Some kind of anesthesia. Higa, I'm gonna get out of you... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get you out of there. Got any bright ideas? What did you say? As I expected, no response. <laughs> Guess I should think and act by myself. I'm feeling anxious. Was she? Was she I guess she was talking to her herself, or something. I don't know. Like talking to herself, pretending to be Ikeda. Why is this light turned on? There's no need to have it on if the surgery is in progress. Did it mean something else? The light is pretty bright. The room is primarily illuminated by the surgical lights. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the effect that he's has right now. Not sure. Now is not the time to look at fluorescent lights. I should look somewhere else. Huh? Sounds like there are compressors running over there. But I don't think there are those, those are refrigerators used for storing organs. And what is this? Could this be a supercomputer? Compressors are used to cool some supercomputers. Why would there be a supercomputer in this room? Maybe this is not an operating room, but something else. It's a VR setup, you know, that's what it is. Gotta like, uh, gotta have a, a cooling process so you can like farm those, uh, Bitcoins, right? Or like NFTs right now. There's people just, it, was, it was all an NFT story, by the way. It was all to make NFTs. All the organs and the human trafficking and the prostitution and the monster. It was all because of NFTs. I knew it. The core of all evil. No, um. It's pretty small. Maybe it's a supercomputer with liquid cooling system. It's one of those new fangled, those new fangled cooling techniques used recently. But what are these, uh, what are they using the supercomputer for? I wonder, why would they restrain Ikeda in this room with a supercomputer? Anyway, I know that this, that this is a supercomputer. I should look elsewhere. Yeah. Liquid cooling. You know, I have always thought liquid cooling, I mean, I guess there's different kinds, you know. When you're like cooling your computer, like your own computer anyway, there's like air cooling and there's like liquid based cooling. There's two kinds, you know, because the classic way is to put like tubes, I think, right, or something. I don't know. Like the transfer uh, uh, heat from one thing to the next and then like put it in like a heat sink or something. It's complicated. There's a complicated one and there's also the, the more consumer friendly one where you just kind of like it's all like internal, I guess, like all in one kit. It's like smaller and then you just put it on. Uh, like your CPU or whatever, and it just works. But I feel like I think those are less efficient than just simply air cooling, though. Like the real, like custom liquor cooling, those are the ones that work really well, but also require some maintenance and 
you know you could easily kind of like mess up if you don't know what you're doing i think but i mean you imagine right you don't want liquids near your computer are you <laughs> just like on principle but anyway strange it looks like it has a monitor but it doesn't appear to be displaying anything right now just static static on screens is unusual nowadays what is this monitor supposed to display it would be strange if they use this equipment for surgery hmm. does that computer control the system it looks like it's doing something i might be able to free ikeda if i can gain access to this computer but i have to be careful i never used a computer like this one before i wonder if there's a manual somewhere i don't know it uses all the new uh, high-tech GPUs, you know? They have, like, I don't know, RTX uh, 50 million now, you know? It's all the uh, hidden high-tech top-secret ones that have never been released to the public. <laughs> anyway. Uh, his hands and legs appear to be restrained securely. It looks more like a restraint band than a surgical one. The shackles are strong. I won't be able to remove them with my bare hands. Hmm. The headgear on Ikido's head. What is that thing? Judging from the wires connected to it, I'm pretty sure they're monitoring something. I wonder if I should just take this off. No, it might be dangerous to remove it without carefully examining it first. If not careful, I could send an electric shock directly into his brain. Just think out loud. <laughs> you know, maybe. I have a feeling I shouldn't touch this headgear. It seems to be performing a pretty critical operation. I don't like this one bit. Hmm. The, bri the light is bright, but it was designed to be used in the operating room so it doesn't get very hot. I guess it uses LED lights. Nothing matters. Ugh. Ouch. That hurts. I tried to remove the restraints by force. I almost ripped my nails off. I don't think I can remove them with a tool. They probably have to be released automatically by the system. Hmm. I mean, wasn't there a toolbox? But I guess... I mean, she did say they can't use tools, but... I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if it has something to do with the headgear that's attached to Ikeda's head. Like a monitor that displays brainwaves? Something strange about it. Oh, the keyboard? No. I try to log into the computer. Huh? I sent a command, but there's no response. Could the monitor connection be bad? What should I do? I want one of these at home. <laughs> yeah, I want one of those supercomputers. I mean, supercomputers actually... I mean, you know, technology progresses rapidly. So I, I, I these days, I believe, like, there are supercomputers and all that, but they go... Uh, they go obsolete relatively quickly, right? So not very popular these days but they used to be like really big computers right back in the day but comparatively it's all the power that was in like a giant like storage area for like a big supercomputer these days is just the size of a laptop now so yeah. uh hello uh weasel rollers by the way i'm just uh, yeah i'm just playing this game return to shiro nagasaki i don't know if you know much about it but it's a murder mystery uh again it's a, kind of a narrative kind of thing though so if you haven't been following along, you can definitely watch uh, Avod if you want, or check out the game for yourself if you're interested. But yeah, Return to Shiro Nagasu Island, that's the game name. Uh, anyway, what am I doing? I, I get a, you know, the game, by the way, they always do this thing where you have to like investigate literally everything multiple times and then you can progress. But uh, it's so bright that I'm becoming dizzy. Yeah, I'm kind of in the, kind. I feel like I'm almost like halfway really. Maybe a little bit more than that. So I'm pretty already deep into the mystery. So uh, I'm not sure if you can understand what's going on without context. But again, you know, it's up to you if you want to like watch a previous uh, VOD maybe that I have. Or again, you could just check out the game for yourself, you know. I think I got on on sale, I believe. It was pretty cheap. I think it was $5.99 or something. I got it specifically during the Steam sale. But anyway. No way... Uh, I can't ask. I think I can ask the system, but there's a response though. Can I get it to work somehow? Look elsewhere. Uh, so bright. Should get too close to it. Uh, Ikeda always promises that he'll help me, but I never imagined I'd be the one helping him. When he wakes up, I'll rub it in for an entire week. Okay. Um, you can wake up whenever you feel like, okay? I become anxious when I'm alone. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, nothing will happen though if I look at the fluorescent lights. Seriously, stop looking at the fluorescent lights. I gotta click on all the things, Neneko. Don't you understand? Oh, okay. Mm, okay, there you go. Yeah, you gotta click on everything, and then you can pro progress. I have to access it some. Uh, access it. I, I have to access it somehow. 
I'm typing in random codes, but there's no response. Ah, the monitor is still showing static. There is a notification from one one though. Good, I found a file of the manual. Excuse. <coughs> just water. <coughs> Are you fine watching along for now? You rewatch it later? Yeah, you can, uh, again. You can find the previous broadcast that I did. Um... In the video section, I guess, of my of my Twitch. Uh, I, I'll also put this on YouTube eventually as well, but anyway. Hmm. It's a very weird manual. The words are really technical and difficult. This is extremely geeky techno babble. <laughs> it's like reading Bask in the Mirror. Well, it's no problem for me, though, because I'm a genius. <laughs> if I weren't so smart, I'd definitely be stuck. A normal person would never be able to understand this manual. What kind of idiot would write such a complicated manual in the first place? Hmm. However, it seems that the idiot who, who wrote this manual built this system from scratch. I looked through it and found the information I need. This appears to be a device that connects to a human brain, simulates past memories and experiences, and extracts information from it. If this is true, it would be horrendous. Not even superpowers have used computers like this one. Uh, or not even or not even the superpowers, as in, as in like, the, the nations. Not like, you know, I'm thinking of superpowers as like uh, superheroes, but no. Uh, the device has never been available to the public in the world yet. The device can take information out of the human brain. If something like this, interrogation will no longer be necessary. You can just extract the information you need. Maybe they can use a system to brainwash people. Yeah, wasn't there like an anime about that? I remember watching an anime about that actually. Where like they would like uh, explore the memories of dead people and stuff like that. Um, I mean, there's probably like a, a few like stories like that. Not just anime, but like any kind of like sci-fi story. But uh, the most important thing right now is getting Ikeda out of there. According to the manual, if the system and the subject's brain are interconnected, forced disconnection could lead to serious brain injury. Yeah, that was close. I'm glad I didn't remove it earlier. In other words, I can't use physical methods to get, uh, get Ikeda out of there. Plus, there are not many other methods to do so. The first method is to access the system and stop the process, but I don't have a way to access the main system right now. So that's not going to work. The next method is to stimulate him to wake up by administering a drug and forcing the system to shut down. And this is also no good. I don't have that kind of drug. The last method is to make the subject realize that they're in a virtual world and encourage them to wake uh, to awake him. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, again, very similar to the ending that we got before. I think this must be the only, uh, this might be the only possible way. But how can I make Ikeda realize that the world he is seeing isn't real? I might be able to hack the simulation that Ikeda is seeing and by then modifying it. I can't access the main system, but I can bypass the system and access Ikeda's brain directly. Ah, it's no use. I tried it, but I'm not sure I can step into Ikeda's consciousness like that. Reality to Ikeda, anyone in there? Wake up, wake up! If you don't, things will get worse. We're running out of time. This world is not real. Please, wake up, please! It's Ikeda. Send Ikeda! Darn. No use. You won't be able to hear me. This is pointless. Yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah um... I believe in the in the beginning of the game, actually. She did say that. You know, Neneko did say, like, wake up, wake up, send Ikeda, whatever. So that's where it's from. A little foreshadowing there. I have to do something before it's, before it's too late. Find another way to break into the system. I'm not sure I can do this, but... No, what are you saying, Neneko? You're a genius. I'll prove it to myself. You okay? An image appeared on the monitor. Is this JFK Airport? It shows me what Ikeda is seeing. This is when he picked me up there. Is it possible to see someone's memories? Uh, wait. Don't tell me that every last thought of Ikeda's personal memory will show up. Something strange happens, I, uh, or something strange appears, I just have to close my eyes. Hmm. I don't want to whine, but this is really difficult. Accessing a completely unknown system and changing the memory you could have seen is not an easy task. There's so much information throwing through it. Understanding what they are is very hard. But don't worry about it, you know, we're just gonna like, tip tap the, the, the keyboard and things will happen, you know, just like in the movies. That, that's how you do it, that's how you be a hacker, I guess. You just type on the keyboard hard enough and it works. I guess I have to look at the image to find the part that I want to change and hack into the code. Whoa. Did the airport information board just change? Does this code correspond to the airport information board? In that case... This world is not real. Uh, it moves so fast. I can only type this much code. It looks like it's being displayed, but Ikeda doesn't seem to realize that he's not in the real world. Yeah, okay, again. This is like literally what ha happened in the beginning of the game. Mm. Memory peaking? <laughs> In that case, I should call something in advance and then upload it all at once. Something pretty wild. Uh, how about a flying penguin? 
he would then real definitely realize that he's in a simulation. Or would he? He'd be like, well, I didn't know that penguins could fly. Pretty wild. Would you really say something like that? Whatever, I'll get to work on the code. I'll just code real quick. Easy, I guess. Mm. Alright, I'll die. I just need to upload it. Hmm? Whoa! Oh. Oh no. It looks like a very big rat has managed to worm its way into here. Neneko Izumaki, or Izumozaki? Izumozaki. <laughs> what? Abby? So she really is. Don't you move. If you do, I'll break your arm in a heartbeat. And it's like... It's like short made is like very powerful. Ouch, that hurts. I mean, it is. It was actually, you know, it was proven actually. Um, I mean, not proven, but like hinted actually that Abigail is actually really strong, you know, because she can like open those like uh, really hard to turn wheels of the iron doors. So she, it actually makes sense that she could like just do CQC, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they blink. Sometimes, yeah, some of the characters sometimes blink in the CGs. I don't know. Just a little thing they have, I guess. It hurts. She put my arm into a lock. I can't move like this. Ouch. I'm rather surprised you managed to get into the basement. How did you sneak in here? Ow. Nye. I see. You're not going to talk. How about if I do this? Ow, ow, ow. No. I have a communication disorder. <laughs> you know, I'm really trying to speak normally. It's not like I don't want to answer you. Wait, let me at least breathe. You're unexpectedly obstinate. You know, you you have trained to, to be uh, resistant to interrogation techniques, I see. Even though really, she's just really shy. I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk, I said. I'll tell you what I know. Just stop twisting my arm. I wish I could just talk easily. Uh, all right, very well. What's the unlock code? Tell me. I know you have it. The unlock code? What's that? The program's password or something like that? Darn. Never mind, as long as you're not trying to fool me. Who killed Thomas Harrington and Sir Raymond? One of you did this, didn't you? Don't tell me that you don't know. What? No, well, it's a... Uh... Wait a minute, that's exactly what I'm trying to find out as well, you idiot. What are you playing at? Are you trying to buy time? Nobody's coming here to help you. Don't mess with me. Ouch! Broke it, you broke it! That's right, I just broke your right arm. I'm gonna break your fingers next. Every time you don't talk, I'll break a finger one by one. Now talk. Who are you working with? You know, don't they say that torture techniques don't really work? You know, it doesn't really work when extracting information because people just make up whatever, you know, you want to hear, so... It's just, it's just like, uh, excessively, um, uh, what's the word? Excessively, uh, cruel, I guess. Excessively cruel with no real benefit, but anyway. <laughs> working with? I'm not working with anyone. Huh. Looks like you're all skin and bone. Are you some kind of masochist? Or does the developer just like, <laughs> you know, I think the developer just likes to draw really skinny girls. Anyway, I never thought I would have taken it this far. This little, pi little piggy went to the market. <laughs> okay, time to break some fingers. Ouch. I'm telling you the truth. No, if I keep this up, she'll break all my fingers. I have to buy some time by lying. See, I told you. When you get tortured, people just lie, you know? No, buy some time. What would be the point of buying time? I have to find a way out of this predicament somehow. Come to think of it, my Wawano is still connected to the system. All I need to do is give the command to upload the data to Ikeda's brain. I can't enter the... I can't press the enter key like this, but I might be able to upload and run the code with a voice command. But how can I do so without Abby noticing? You know, you just say, um, Alexa, please upload brain code or something. I don't know. The, the good cop, bad cop, uh, bad cop method works either. Hmm. I don't know. I, well, that type of, and well, that's a different kind of interrogation technique, I guess. I'm, 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 th I'm thinking of like, just in general. Like, especially in the military, I feel like, people have, well, all, like, th th throughout history, really, I've always employed, like, torture tactics to, like, get information, but it's actually unreliable, you know, um, contrary to popular belief, you know, it just never really works, but people do it anyway. Ouch, I'm gonna die. It doesn't matter if I tell the truth or lie, she's gonna kill me anyway. I guess I have no choice. Uh, yes, I'm working with someone. I'll tell you everything I know you wanna know. Please, just stop hurting me. The little rat is finally speaking. All right, little rat, talk to me. If you even tell me a little lie, I don't need to tell you what will happen next. Yes, I understand. I'm working with... I meant to say their code name is... Spit it already, or do you enjoy paying that much? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, their code name is... Personal one one code code execution. That's their code name. I know that's a very strange code name, but... What? Don't tell me you don't understand. 
what I'm saying. I couldn't care less about a strange code name. I want a real code name. What was that? Hang on. You. You just uploaded some code from this computer. Don't you think you can fool me? That was the last you ever see in my mercy. Ah, help me. We can, uh... Well, I guess we're dead. Yeah, I guess the little maid girl killed us. And then we're dead forever. Oh, let me just save the game real quick, just in case. Don't mess with me. Ouch, you broke it, you broke it. Already. You enjoy pain that much. Code execution. Don't think you can fool me. That was the last you ever seen in my mercy. Uh, help me. Okay, I assume he's like echoing from outside in the present time. And we're back here. Mm, oh, yes. Back at the airport. Back to the beginning of the game. What was that? Was I dreaming? What a strange dream. A very noisy dream. It sounded like a cat fight between two women. It's not much of a fight, really. It's actually very one sided. Maybe I'm just tired. I've been working much too hard. Anyway, I should stop thinking about work, but I shouldn't just nod off at JK, uh, JFK Airport. It's always on the list of the top 10 airports not to fall asleep at, you see, you know? It's all over far. Uh, where is she anyway? Hasn't she landed yet? Ah oh, yes, a flying penguin. <laughs> as, as she said. Huh? What the? A flying penguin? Huh. Do penguins fly these days? I don't think this is a joke. It looks like a hologram, but it's strange no one else in the airport is paying attention to it. In other words, I'm the only one who can see it. So what can this mean? Uh, I can only think of three possibilities. Uh, first of all, I started to hallucinate from all that work. No, I'm not sure I was busy. I don't think I've been working so hard that I'm starting to hallucinate like this. Besides, I've never had any issues like that before, so that I doubt I would imagine seeing a penguin flying all of a sudden. So I don't think that's the case. What else could be going on? Second possibility, this is a real flying penguin. Of course, it's not a real penguin. It's kind of a balloon or a three-dimensional image. But if so, why doesn't anyone else pay atten any attention to it? I guess there's an easy way to find out. Uh, hi, can I ask you something? Yes, what is it? Something's flying over there. Do you happen to know what it is? I'm sorry, I don't know. She asked the, at the infor information desk. I see, thanks. I'll do that. She can't see it. So, I'm seeing something that nobody else is. And her answer did not match the question that I asked. What is going on here? The last possibility I could think of was that, just like the information board said, this world isn't real. I wouldn't normally even consider such a silly thing, but considering what I see right now, I should not discard the possibility. The world is not real, huh? That's weird. I've got a strong feeling of deja vu. I feel as if I've seen that before, but what am I forgetting? I was doing something very important. Wait, I'm sure. I was on an island. Island? What island? That's strange. As soon as I'm trying to remember something, my thoughts just disappear. Like tears in the rain. <laughs> tears in the rain? I mean, I don't know if this is a reference or not, but isn't that a, a, a line from Blade Runner? Or maybe that's, or well, maybe the line from Blade Runner is also a reference to something else. I don't know, but that just reminds me of Blade Runner, you know, the movie or whatever. Darn, I've got a bad feeling about this. It feels as if I'm, I'm in terrible danger right now. I forgot something and it's the most important thing I have to remember. Darn, I know what to do. If this world is really not real, there's only one way to know for sure. I hope it won't end up in jail. <laughs> okay, time to start a shooting spree. Just like an American. <laughs> Woo! Yeehaw! yippee ki <laughs> Okay. Whoa. So this was really is not real. Nobody reacted to my gunshots at all. Now riddle me this. If this world is not real, then where the hell am I? You know, you're, just, you're in just a very convincing virtual reality video game, you see. Now let's say for argument's sake that I'm being kept sedated and experiencing a simulation. How do I wake up? Is there a way to wake up from such a deep sleep? Darn, I wish I could talk to Nedko right now. No way, I got it. I was supposed to meet with Nedko at this airport. Even if she's part of the simulation, she might be giving me some ideas. You know, it's funny how, like, conveniently, the Ikeda is just following the simulation uh, line of thought. I mean, I guess maybe, subconsciously, maybe he's, he's like, you know, thinking that he's in a simulation, which makes sense. I know for me, you know, if I saw, like, a flowing penguin and somehow I have a gun and start shooting it everywhere and nobody reacts to it, I assume I'm in a dream, you know, not in a simulation, but anyway. Well, just as I think, just as I think of that, I spot her in the distance. Here goes nothing. Uh, what's your name? Do you speak in English? What country are you from? Were you your parents? Eh. Ah, so there you are. Uh, she's a friend of mine, and even though she's already in high school, we can't be traveling alone, so let's you know about it better. Aniko, I want to ask you something. 
Nikita, where have you been? And what's going on? Your face looks gloomy. No more looks scary. Uh, Neniko, let's assume that some of these are sedatians trapped in a simulated world. What steps will you need to take to wake him up from this simulation? How to wake up from a simulated world? Why do you want to know such a thing? Doesn't matter. But I need to know if you have any good ideas. Somehow. You know, technically isn't this... I don't know. I don't know how the... I mean, it's all made up anyway. But like, you know, I don't know how this whole simulation thing work. But how does like talking to a simulation of your own memories of a, of a person actually have make you like get an idea? I don't know. That makes no sense because it isn't everything in your brain anyway. Uh, whatever. I won't go into details, but I'm in immediate danger. Um, uh, let me see. A way to wake up from a simulated world. Well, first of all, external operation or external stimulation. Shut down the system itself, drug administration, something like that. Well, that'll be difficult to do. If someone was stuck inside a simulated world, could they wake up by themselves rather than by an external action? Well, waking up from a stimulated world by yourself, uh, let me think. Well, in that case, the first step to waking up would be realizing that they're inside a simulation. If they don't still wake up, the next step would be injection of stimulants. Dopamine and noradrenaline would definitely do the trick. In a dangerous situation, the brain would secrete stimulants by itself, even when dreaming, but why do you want to know that? Seriously. A dangerous situation. Something like this? Why are you pulling out your gun and pointing at your head? Uh, don't worry, Neneko. I'm just gonna summon my persona, you see. <laughs> Calm down, what are you gonna do? I didn't recommend you shooting shoot, shoot yourself in the head with a gun. Reality and the simulated world are strongly linked, and the shock of death in the simulation might cause actual death in reality. Is that how it works? But, Kida, this world is real. So if you shoot yourself in the head, you'll die. I'll never know without trying. Besides, I'm pretty sure this world isn't real. At least I hope I'm right. What are you talking about? No, stop, stop it! That- Whoa. That was pretty intense. Looks like I'm not dead, though. Don't die, wake up! Wake up from this world! Wake up, fight! Whoa! Alright. Don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> because... You could easily miss- I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes people do, do, are, you know, are delusional sometimes and do think they're in like a fake world and it, it turns out it's a real world, so I don't know, man. Anyway. Uh, warning. Detecting the awakening of the subject. Disconnecting. System reboot required. Ugh. Where am I? Darn, I finally remember everything. Yes, this is Shiro Nagasu Island. I was trapped inside Sir Raven's living quarters. What is this place? What is happening? What the hell is going on? I Ikita! Ikita! Help! Uh, how did you manage to wake up? Torn, just you wait. After I kill this rat, I'll hook you back up into the system. Okay, okay, Abby, okay, Abby was the one that put us in the system. Hmm, interesting. Looks like this is a really bad situation, which means I'm gonna save real quick just in case. Uh, you never know when it's gonna be like a time limit or something. That happens a lot in this game. Uh, darn, are my arms and legs restrained? Eh. Hey, looks like we're even, Neneko. Oh! -ho. <laughs> what? No way. Did you just break the restraints yourself? Steer restraints with your bare hands. You're not just a regular detective, are you? Well, let's just say my grandpa was a friend of Superman. This is child's play, okay? We have super strength, by the way? It's just, that's just a thing? I, I what? <laughs> are you trying to be funny? Even if your grandpa knew Superman, why you be that strong? <laughs> Abby, you appear to be working with the enemy. Tell me everything you know. You. Hey, Abby kicks me and runs away. Ow. She thought she might lose if she found this situation. I guess it's for the best. I feel like I just drank an entire bottle of cheap whiskey and then got spun around on a roller coaster. <laughs> then it goes lying on the ground and she finally begins to breathe normally again. I guess we're safe now. Oh, you're right, Neneko. You woke me up, didn't you? I don't know what happened exactly, but I have a feeling that you, I have you to thank for it. Ikita. Ikita. Are you okay? I'd like to take care of you here, but I can't. We should leave this place as quickly as possible. Let's go, Neneko. I'm not gonna make it. I'm mortally wounded. I can't take a single step. This is it for me. Well, I'm mortally wounded? What? Were you hurt somewhere? Happy broke my arm. My number's up. I don't want to die. Ikita, please hold my hand. Well, if people die from broken arms, two-thirds of the world population would be already be dead. Did she break your right arm? This one? Ow, 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 ouch! You broke my arm again, you, you traitor! Ow, you. Don't call me a traitor, stupid. Your arm wasn't broken, your shoulder was only dislocated. I pushed it back into place. You should be able to move it now. 
Yeah, that's the thing I hear often, especially um, uh, in like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, MMA, you know? I've heard that people could do that, you know? Any kind of like grappling kind of martial arts. You like dislocate your arm and stuff. I mean, I, I, it never happened to me, but I, I can, that just sounds really painful. Like, just having your like bones dislocated. I don't know, man. Hey, uh, my arm is really moving. My arm doesn't hurt that much anymore. Oh, thank God. That means I don't have to die. You saved my life. So I'm both a traitor and a savior. Never a dull moment. Well, if you can move, that's all that matters. Let's get out of here quickly, but first, we need to go through what we've managed to find out because of all this. Nanako, could you fill me in on everything that's happened? Uh, let's see. From what Nanako tells me, I begin to understand the situation better. You know, I'm trying to think as well, so... Uh, you know, you're lucky to have never broken a bone in your entire life? Yeah, me too. No. Oh, I did, like, well, I did damage uh, my knee a little bit, but otherwise, I'm fine. Um, but I never actually completely like, broke a bone or anything, though. So. so that's good. <laughs> But, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, I was gonna say though, because the dead ending that happened before was a bad ending where we actually did wake up from the simulation eventually, but, you know, we just end up dying, I guess. I think the reason, I, I think I get it now, it kind of fits all together. Um, in the other ending where we sent the wrong code, I guess, it took Neniko longer to reach the basement. And therefore, that's why everybody died, right? The monster, I guess, got out, killed almost everybody. Neniko finally made it to the basement after a long, a lot lo longer than this. You know, it took longer for her to get to the basement anyway. And then she found Ikeda, and she was able to wake him up. But uh, by that time, it was too late, and everybody's already dead, basically. So this time, though, she got here a lot faster because we actually sent the right code. I think I, yeah, I understand now. Anyway. Roman Medical tells me I begin to understand the situation better. I see. You really escaped from a dangerous, a very dangerous situation. The killer, the secret code. There are a lot of things to worry about. Sounds like this creature is the latest thing we can add to our list of problems. Speaking of which, I remember seeing it from the elevator when I was heading to Sir Ray's living quarters. So yeah, we did say, you could have didn't mention that. But there was a jump scare actually where you did see it. I'm a bit worried about Akira and the others. Hopefully they're fine. We should definitely be worried about them. There are now six guests upstairs. The report says that the creature has a weapon level combat ability, uh, or rather, weapon level combat capabilities developed for the military. They wouldn't stand a chance against it. Hey, you could, uh, are you so sleepy? Are you okay? Jeez. What? I don't think I said anything strange, did I? What do you mean? There are five guests upstairs, right? Why did you say that there are six guests? You're scaring me. What do you mean? Did someone else get murdered while I was out? No. Thomas was the only one of the guesses who was killed. So there are five guesses left, right? Don't freak me out at a time like this. What do you mean? There are Jacob, Akira, Giselle, Rio, Aurora, and Alex. I've counted over and over, but I'm counting six people. What? Now just hang on. Who is this Aurora you're talking about? Huh? Aurora Lavilla, you know. She's blonde and pretty, about the same age as you, or maybe younger than you. Oh yeah, she's wearing a big blue ribbon. Don't scare me, please. There's no girl like that. What do you mean? Boo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. Alright, so again, because from the very beginning, we weren't actually playing from the beginning, you know? If that makes sense. We were actually playing the simulation. Um, and now, this is, I assume, unless we're in another simulation, you know, too many layers. But I'm assuming this is the real world. And so when we saw Aurora, she was, you know, not real the entire time. Which I knew something strange was up with her. She was being way too friendly, you know, but I guess maybe she was in that simulation only and she doesn't actually exist in the real world. Hmm. Wonder what that means, but anyway. What do you mean? Don't be ridiculous. It can't be. She's not real? And I have no idea which world is real or simulated. Maybe Aurora was a virtual human built into the program. I'm not sure what it all means. I don't even understand why you're hooked up to this system in the first place. Eesh, we should definitely compare our versions of events. If what you say is true, does that mean that when you danced naked in the dining hall, it wasn't real either? <laughs> what? No, that wasn't real. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I would never do that. I'll push you back into the machine. I'll electric shock that false memory to oblivion. <laughs> Calm down, I was just kidding. Anyway, we should get out of here. Let's look for the stairs leading to the ground floor. Some jokes can be forgiven, but some jokes... Ugh. Hmm? 
Looks like they haven't taken my gun for my suit. Apparently, they didn't consider the possibility that I could escape. Sexual harassment, defamation, justice, <laughs> you know, Ikida does deserve to be sued, I don't know, man. Uh, come on, snap out of it already. Let's go through the door, be careful. I feel sick just by being here. I'm not a shying picture of health myself either. I also don't want to run into that creature. What a strange place. Looks like blood is flowing from underneath the door in the back. I couldn't open that door with my card. I might be able to open it with Thomas's card. It has now been fully analyzed, but I don't think we should do that right now. You're right. We've already collected a lot of information uh, anyway, so we're not going. We're just not going to check that door. All right. We'll, well, we'll only know about that door later when we have a revelation that tells us to go through that door. But for now, we're not going to do that. <laughs> I wonder what will happen next. We should get out of this place first. Let's look for the stairs. We have no choice but to go this way, but. We wouldn't be able to hide anywhere. I'll run away if anything scary shows up. You can take care of it. Now let's hope that doesn't happen. I keep thinking about what Abby asked you. She asked you who killed Thomas and Sir Raymond. That would mean that whoever is responsible for those murders is not someone from the mansion. Which means that one of the guests did it? That would be just as scary as... Indeed. We're in quite a uh, quandary? 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 I think it's quandary. And I uh, have to keep the killer in mind as well. I got off the elevator here. Hmm. Looks like it's out of order right now. I'm not surprised. They already know they were on the ground. Are they preventing us from going back up again? Does that mean that we have to go further to the rear? That's where the creature came from. I so don't want to go there. Huh? Hey, looks like there's a door over there. Huh? Well, why did I not notice that staircase before? It's locked. It's no match for my lockpicking skills though. I have maxed out my lockpicking. I just lockpick everything, I guess. You know, we're just a rogue build, you know, compared to... Cause she, she, she's the, the mage build, we're the rogue build, I guess. There we go. I'm glad that the door is open. Abby could have placed a booby trap, though. Uh, get down, Nanako. If she did, it's probably a wire trap with explosive, uh, explosive attached to it. Eh. Hmm. Well, it's okay, there's no trap. Either she didn't have time to place it or she thought she wouldn't need to. Well, we can't escape from this island anyway. Perhaps they want to play with us a little longer. Well, looks like we hit the jackpot. I think that this star, uh, spiral staircase. Uh, yeah, I can't speak. I can't speak. Looks like we hit the we hit the jackpot. I think that this spiral staircase goes all the way to the ground floor. We just have to make it all the way up to the top. <sighs> Nanako is about to breathe a sigh of relief, but I stop her. I hear footsteps. Someone is coming down the stairs. I signal the Nanako. We hide underneath the spiral staircase. The area below the stairs should be a blind spot. The moment I see someone appear in front of me, I hold up my gun. Freeze! Wah! Uh, you, you surprised me! What are you doing down here? What? Alex? Um, would you mind pointing your gun at somewhere else? That would depend on your answer. This is a place that you can't normally get to, you know. How do you manage to get in here? Why are you sneaking about? I could ask you the same thing. You got down here before I did, after all. Were you guys hired by the people from this mansion? Mm. You don't seem to grasp your predicament, Alex. I'm asking you, not the other way around. You really are as brutal as they say. Alright, I'll tell you what I know. Just please stop pointing that gun at me. It scares me. Alright then. Since you came all the way down here, how about you show us the way back up? You don't want to go down there. There are way too many disturbing things in the basement. Disturbing? What happened down here? Oh, never mind. I'll show you the way up. Threatened by my gun, Alex relentlessly begins to climb the stairs. I see. It appears that I need to talk to Alex as well. I'm not sure if yet if he's our enemy, but if he knows how to sneak into a place like this, he's definitely familiar with the island. Hmm. Right. Save real quick. Whoop. Whoop. Uh, let's see. We haven't, you know, we don't have much chance to talk to him all that much, so I guess now we can interrogate him. Uh, Alex, the way you're sneaking around, you don't appear to be just a regular guest. Who the hell are you? Were you hired by someone? Hired. Don't be silly. I came to Zion for personal reasons. I'm not doing this for anyone. And I should believe you. You don't just happen to stumble upon a place like this. I think you're willing to risk deaths sneaking around like that. I'm aware of the danger. Still, there is something I have to look into. And what is that? It's that my grandmother may have been a client of this facility in the past. 
I came to this island to discover the truth. That should be enough, right? I don't work for the mansion. No one hired me. In any case, I'm suspicious of you guys. Don't be silly. I almost became a victim of human experimentation just now. If you're not working for the mansion, you should be careful. It's not clear as day that there are enemies. They've also created monsters on this island. Monsters? Human experiments are one thing, but I find that hard to believe. Well, it's the truth. The sooner you believe that, the better. For your own sake. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just for reference, how many other characters are there? Uh... I mean, I, I, you know, he mentioned it before, right? I mean, there's the guests, I guess, that was mentioned. Uh, trying to remember. I'll go back here. Didn't he say, like, well, there were, like, six people, but actually there's five or whatever? I think he said... Yeah, Jacob, Akira, Giselle, Rio, Aurora, and Alex. Aurora, we just figured, you know, recently that she might not be real. And obviously, there's a mansion staff as well. Abby, the maid that just attacked us. This was Vincent. And this was the victims that died. I, I don't know. There's like a, a few characters, I guess. I can't really like just on the top of my head remember everybody. You know, explain all their uh, backgrounds. Again, I recommend that if you want to know more about it, definitely uh, look at the first part of this game. Um, so you can also check the store page as well. You just just search for it. It's, it's on Steam and Itch.io. But uh, I'm playing the Steam version anyway. I believe there's no. I don't know. I can't remember. Was there? Maybe not actually. I swear, like, it, there was a page that showed all the characters, uh, if you look around, I guess. But anyway, what about Alex? Some more, though. Uh, tell me about your background, birthplace, family name, everything. I'm just, I'm just gonna dox you, I guess. My life is an open book. My name is Alex Werner. I'm, I'm an American of British descent. The Werner family made his fortune in arms manufacturing and export during the Civil War. After that, we further grew our wealth on the stock market. I guess stonks. We managed to keep a low profile, but we're one of the few billionaire families in the United States. Well, that sounds rather comfortable. I look at Nenico. She might know about his family. She'd be able to verify the accuracy of his information. Huh. Looks like he's telling the truth. Graham, uh, Graham Warner. Or is it Werner, maybe? Well, Werner's kind of like... You said Werner. It's more like a German. I don't know, anyway. Graham Werner, a descendant of the Werner family who earned a huge fortune in arms exports, sold his stocks just before the Wall Street crash in 1929, and increased his wealth by buying up the stocks at rock bottom prices, becoming one of the most celebrated wealthy men of the 20th century. He also invested actively in Hollywood and was a founding member of a large studio. Even now, his name is engraved on one of the largest studios. In 1969, he died of heart disease, which he had been afflicted with for, for many years. I, I read this in an article about Hollywood three years ago on December 2nd. Uh, what she says, is that correct? What the? Uh, no, it's all correct, but how can she remember something in detail? I think my ability is a blessing as well as a curse. I can't forget anything even if I want to. Ability? You have a photographic memory? That's very unexpected. Hmm. Alex appears to be more shaken than surprised by Manetico's ability. He seems to be afraid that we know too many details about him and his family. He's still hiding something. I'm afraid that's all there is to tell. Hmm. Well, what about his sneaking around? We always see him sneaking around, so... Alex, how did you manage to sneak into this basement stairway? It shouldn't be so easy to get in here. There's no way you just happened to find a staircase while you were looking for the toilet. But that's precisely what happened. When I was looking for the toilet, I happened to stumble upon the stairway. Um, alright, I'll tell you the truth. Don't look at me like that. My grandmother told me about it. She told me that there's a hidden staircase that leads down to the basement. Her stories helped me find it. I'm not lying, really. Your grandmother's stories. It's true that Alex has been searching around the mansion for quite some time. If Alex were working for the mansion, he wouldn't have behaved like that. He's probably telling the truth. Alex, what do you know about the island? I don't know a lot. But if you're an outsider, I don't think you should look into things too thoroughly. Thanks for the advice. But we can no longer go back to the way things were when we arrived here. Tell me everything you know. Hmm. I was investigating the illegal activities that were taking place on this island. One of them was the organ trade. The trade of organs and transplants may have been carried out on this island. I came here to uncover the truth. Nanako told me there were operating rooms and specimens preserved in uh, formalin, formalin, formalin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Formalin in the basement. I'm certain that illegal organ trade and transplants were carried out here. Really? So there is a, a surgical facility on this island. Did you find any documents? For example, any medical records about my grandmother? Actually, we did. Nanako pokes my back. There were some medical records. 
His grandmother's records was in there as well, however a page of details about her had been ripped out for some reason. It seems there also was a record about your grandmother. The details were torn out by someone though. Was there a record? Are you sure it was torn out? Or did you overlook it? Can I go down there and see it now? Hey, we can't go back now. What are you so excited about? Why are you so obsessed with your grandmother's record? No, I just want to know the truth, that's all. Do you know anything else about this island? It doesn't matter how minor it is, I just need more information. I'm sorry, but this is my first time on this island, so I don't know anything about anything else. My grandmother didn't want to talk about this island. I just know about the organ trade. Did you did you know that prostitution was also happening on this island? Pro prostitution? Did that happen on this island too? It seems so. It's terrible, I just can't... Hmm. It doesn't look like he's lying. It seems that the information about the island that Alex had was rather incomplete. Again, just like us, you know, he, he just came to the island not knowing everything, just a little bit. Hmm. Alex, I'm not sure if I believe everything you say. You're still hiding something, aren't you? The invitation was indeed sent to my grandmother. I came to this island to learn the truth about my grandmother, that's all. How my grandmother managed to cheat death and survive, and also to discover who was killed to, so that she could live. Hmm. So you intercepted the invitation sent to your grandmother. Is that what you're saying? That's more or less what happened. That seems to be a trend, by the way. Um, I mean, we did that as well. Uh, Akira did that, you know. Everyone seems to do that. Uh, I'm trying to think who did not do that. I mean, wasn't there... Rio, I think, did go with permission. She didn't intercept it. She, just, she was asked to go, I think, because... I believe her grandfather, I believe, was ill or something. Or her dad, I'm not sure. Her grandfather, I think. Anyone else? I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, that's more or less what happened. It is true that the invitation was sent to my grandmother, so I'm not an official proxy. I am here without my grandmother's knowledge. Hmm. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. For now. The benefit of the doubt. Of oh, the doubt. It sounds like a mixture of truth and lies. Maybe half of it is true, but the other half is dodgy. The kid is suspicious. I'm gonna watch my back around him. Thank you for trusting me. Alex, I wanted to ask you one more thing. Do you know a gay, uh, what, what did I say? I was gonna say, do you know a, a, a game? No. Do you know a girl named Aurora Lavilla? He's a young girl, wears a blue ribbon. Aurora Lavilla. Hey, what's going on? Your face just became pale. Do you know anything about her? No. I don't know her. I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little bit dizzy. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. And not to- I don't know, and this is just- Look, I'm not being a pervert, <laughs> but I know this is gonna sound strange. But man, does he have an ass? I mean, look at that ass. I don't know, man. I think that implies something. I think this it's its not just me being a weirdo, I think his ass being so thick is actually a clue in this game. So anyway, I, I think I have a theory why he became so pale just now, but anyway. Hmm. His face is white as a sheet, so he does know something about Aurora. This is very strange. I could be wrong though, and I could be pulling out his ass for no reason, but I think there's a reason why his ass is so big, okay? That's that's all I'm saying. He appears to be extremely upset. Uh, I'm sorry. I've calmed down now. I'm alright now. What about that girl? Nothing. I was just wondering if you come across her in the mansion. In this mansion. She wasn't one of the guests. You mean that this girl has been in this mansion all this time? I don't remember seeing any girl. Don't worry about it. Thanks anyway. Something's very strange. Alex's face went blank when I mentioned Aurora. He has to know more than he's letting on. Hmm. After going up the spiral staircase for a while, we reach a door. We're here. This leads to the ground floor of the mansion. The ground floor of the mansion? Where does this staircase lead to exactly? Why don't you open the door and find out? Alright, I will. I was just here. Of course, there's a hidden wall. See? I see. A hidden door inside the wine cellar. Ah, you were looking around here earlier. This is why a lot of bottles were moved around so randomly? <laughs> yes. My grandmother told me about this place. I saw some men coming out of the cellar, even though they had no business being there. 
I found a switch that opens a hidden door in the wall. That door leads down to the basement. Nanako, can you remember everything, even the exact location of the wine bottles? That kind of freaks me out. You're scary. Why you? I'm glad that we managed to get back to the ground floor in one piece. I'm s it's still a bad situation, but at least things have improved somewhat. Let's rejoin Akira and the others. Alright? I hope everyone is safe. What if there's a big sea of blood? Silly, don't say things like that. It might actually happen. And hey, Nanako, Akira and Giselle see us and come running to us. I'm glad that they're safe. They don't look very relieved to see us, though. Oh, you're right. Did you take a nap somewhere? You're such a slouch, Nanako. We had a terrifying experience while you were sleeping. Take a nap? Yes, our lives were in danger after you disappeared. What did you run off to? Ah, if it isn't Ak uh, Ikeda. Still not dead, I see. Uh, Akira is so full of herself that she apparently can't take the feelings of others into account. Nanako snorts and turns toward me. Akira's always giving me a hard time. Why is she worried about me at all? So cold-hearted. I wish you could have gone through what we have. Hey, don't get so angry. It looks like something happened over here as well. She appears to be panicking. Akira, what happened here? It would be really helpful if you could fill me in. Th th that thing appeared. That thing! I don't understand what you're talking about. What appeared? Please don't tell me it was just a cockroach. Try to calm down and tell me slowly. I, I can't talk about this calmly. That monster appeared. The demon is here in Nagasu Island. What? Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Perhaps it's the same creature I saw on the ground. Huh? I'm sure you saw something else. You probably just got scared and were seeing things, Nanako. But I really saw it. Even worse, it attacked me. Meh. <laughs> Hey, would it be alright if I beat her to death? <laughs> Don't let me hold you back. Punch, bam, pow. Back, pow, bam. And I can't believe Nanako committed murder. First degree murder. Ow. Ouch, what the heck? Stop venting your frustration on my back. Okay, actually, never mind. She just hit us instead. Even though I'm so deeply hurt. Much deeper than Challenger Ridge in the Marina Trench and more damaged than Val's Marinas and Mars. Mm. Alright, alright. You can tell that to her later. Listen, Akira, we saw the same creature you did. A half-fish, half-human, reddish skin, and an unusually big eyes, right? Yes, that's it. The creature looked just like the one this painting. So you saw it too. Are you alright? I'm so glad that you're safe. Why do you only believe things when Ikeda tells you? I was more likely to be killed by people than by that creature, though. By people? What do you mean? Uh, before I tell you about it, we better get away from here. This place is dangerous. No argument there. Let's get out of here. Let's just hide in here, in the charred remains of of someone who died here. This should do it. I wedge a piece of wood into the door wheel and make sure the iron door can't be opened easily. This is only a temporary solution, but it should be the best way. If I make it too sturdy, it might be harder to remove when we have to escape from the gas room building. Everything considered, this is the best way to secure the door. I let everyone catch their breath and tell Akira and the others about what happened on the ground. So that maid is our enemy. We won't be able to trust the people from the mansion anymore. But we're completely isolated, left our own devices until the ship comes back. That is, if it even comes back. But we should go through the information we now have and prepare for their attack. Prepare for their attack? Are you saying we, you can fight that creature? That's impossible. Well, it will depend on the situation, but we should get ready. Can you tell us what happened when you encountered the demon here on Nagasu Island? Alright. After Neneko was gone, we were looking for a way to climb up. As I was searching, climb up, but that elevator took me on the ground. You idiot, how could I have known that? How was I supposed to know that this building had a basement? Uh, en enough bickering, carry on. Uh, how can I explain it? I've become lightheaded just by thinking about it. Giselle, could you? Yes, young lady. When I was checking the entrance, I heard the young lady cry out from the front of the dining hall, so I hurried back immediately. When I reached her, I saw that the creature was about to attack her. I see. So you encountered the creature there. But you did make it out of that situation alive somehow. Indeed. When I shouted intimidated, the monster suddenly lost all interest and disappeared in the corridor that leads outside. When I checked the corridor, it appeared that the creature had left the mansion. Giselle shouting. That's very un giselle like I kind of would like to see that. My skin crawls just thinking about it. If Giselle hadn't shouted at it, I would have been killed for sure. I could have died so often since I arrived on this island. Not only twice so far, or did you forget to count a count? Ouch, that hurts! You pulverized my brain, my precious brain! 
Anyway, I now understand what has happened here. Looks like we want me to avoid this confrontation. We might be able to make this work even though our chances are slim. Do you think so? We might still be able to survive this. I'll tell you more about it later. For now, all of the guesses should assemble in my room. If everyone is still safe... Well, what if that creature is already inside the guest room building? I'll punch you, Nanako. I'm already down for the count. You usually say that to people before you hit them? Hey, kid, uh, what should I do about this violent girl? Ah, don't leave me! Okay. 